Our souls begin to intertwine Your heart of gold so pure, divine And I Lost myself within Good morning, it's weigh-in day. Well, actually it's the day after weigh-in day and it's way early in the morning. It is currently 5.23. I've been up for about two hours working on things. Woke up, couldn't go back to sleep. That happens a lot with me. Oh, so sorry. Like I said, it's early in the morning. Haven't even had my coffee yet. So my husband's still sleeping and I didn't want to wake him up in the kitchen because our bedroom's right off of our kitchen. So weigh in this week was okay. It was a loss, not a huge loss, but a loss is a loss. Um, I have been wearing my tennis shoes most days. Um, anyway, some sort of shoe like a tennis shoe, if not my tennis shoes. And that's helped with my feet not swelling as much. Of course, the fluids have moved up into my ankles. So, I know I need to start wearing like some longer socks and stuff to help with that. But I still am wearing my capri pants, so I'm not going to wear long socks with my capri pants. I mean, I'm not a fashionista, but even I know that that wouldn't look very well. So... Um, I might start doing ace bandage wraps on them at night before I go to bed. I, you know, people tell me compression socks and things like that. I've tried those. They hurt my legs, hurt my legs, and cause me to have severe muscle cramps in my legs. Um, I tried them once a while back and literally could not get them off fast enough and thought I was... I really felt like my legs were um, going to fall off because they hurt so bad to the point where I ended up taking scissors to one of them just to get it off of my leg because it hurt so bad. Did okay this week. You know, I, I did have some mess ups, but I'm just going to associate those as part of this journey, you know. I want to get to the point where I never stray from keto, but I don't know if that's realistic. So, um, there's so many foods out there that I do enjoy eating. Um, and I, so if I limit myself to that, I'm okay with that. And maybe that's the wrong attitude to have. And maybe that's one of the reasons I'm kind of stalled out where I have been. But I have seen some people in the last couple of weeks that um, I hadn't seen for a while. Some that I have seen two or three, you know, quite a bit. And everybody has commented that they're noticing the change in me. So maybe the weight's not going down, but my body's changing. And I'm fine with that. And that's part of the process, too, is... Sometimes the weight doesn't go down, but your body still changes, so it is what it is. I document my journey for you. That's what I'm doing. So, you know, I am, maybe I'm not the best go-getter motivator out there for you because I do kind of have that e eh attitude sometimes, and it's not that I'm giving up. <clears throat> it's just that I'm not beating myself up. I am not going to sit here and belittle myself and talk down to myself because I'm not doing something the way everybody else says I should do it or the way, you know, other people have done it. I'm going to do it my way because if I don't do it my way, then it's I'm not going to be successful at it. So that's kind of my attitude on it. So today, 
I'm going to insert my scale. It went down. It went down just a little over a half pound, huh? Oh well, it went down. Yay, it went down. Um, I know I still have the issues with the water retention in my feet. Not near as bad as I had, like I said earlier. So I'm also happy with that. I'm, I'm working on things. I didn't get this way overnight, guys. I'm going to be 47. Yeah, 47 at the end of October. I have been heavy set and overweight all my life. I mean, like, since I was in, since I was in grade school. So I am not going to fix basically 40 years of my life in 10 days, in four months. It might take me a year or two. I don't know how long it's going to take me. I just know that I'm working on it. I know I feel better. I eat better. I'm not eating near the crap that I used to. I was a 6 to 7 20 ounce Mountain Dew person a day with bread. I'd start out with toast in the morning. If I was hungry and didn't really want to cook, I'd have toast again. Most meals had bread and butter. I was it's the way I was raised. We had bread. We had a plate of bread and butter on the table at every meal growing up. So we had the meat and potatoes and the bread. The meat and rice and the bread. The meat and pasta and the bread. There was always bread. And even going down to my parents, my dad still has some sort of bread option available at almost every meal. It's just kind of the way we were raised. It was, bread was a cheap filler, you know. When you have a family and you're struggling to make sure everybody's um, eating correct and getting enough to eat and, you know, you don't have enough hamburger, you're stretching it out, you're filling them up on the bread. You're filling them up on the pasta. That's what they were taught. That's that's one of the things I was taught, you know. If I have to make a big meal for a lot of people inexpensively, it's spaghetti. Because the meat sauce goes a lot farther when you've got the pasta to go with it. Unfortunately, it also spread me out. <laughs> Filled me up too, so, you know, that's... That's the side effect of it. So, but you know, that's what, that's what, it's what sometimes you have to do. And I cooked that way and I ate all of the starches. So, and now I know that those don't work for me and I'm, and I'm changing that. But I have a lot of years of changing to do and it's not going to happen overnight. And I know that and it's, it is what it is. So I hope this motivates you guys. Um, I want to put up some photos of me, some kind of before and after. There's, there's changes, don't get me wrong. Am I thin by any means? Oh, hell no. <laughs> you know, I'm still in my 300s. I don't look thin. I don't, I see changes, but I don't see a lot. Some days I don't see any even though I'm looking at the same photos. The problem with my photos is here in my house, I live in a very small house. I have very small rooms. So to get a really good photo of me from top to bottom where you can see top to bottom, it's really hard to do because I don't have the space in my rooms. I need to do it at my parents' house. Maybe that's something I'll do, so. Because I'd like to keep taking it in one spot every time so that you can really see with the background and everything the changes. So that's something that I'll work on. Um, 
maybe for next week. No promises. Haven't really been feeling very good. Um, I don't know. I have the energy and all that. I just, there's a lot of people coughing and sniffling and blowing their noses at work. So I don't know if I'm starting to come down with one of those things. The other day, my stomach was really, really queasy. I actually contemplated coming home from work. I ended up getting through work okay, but it was just kind of, kind of off. You know, and I've made that comment to my husband a couple of different times that I kind of feel like I have motion sickness as far as my stomach is just kind of a little up and down, seasick motion sickness thing, even without being in the car. So something's going on and it might just be my body, you know, doing its changes things. So I'm not going to get too wrapped up in it, but all right, guys, so this is going to wrap up my weigh-in this week. Thumbs up because we did good. So if you like these types of videos, like, subscribe, share, comment. And let's just keep moving forward. You know, that's all we got to do. One step forward. Sometimes it's two steps back. But then you got to take three steps forward to catch up. And that's what I'm doing. I'm just going to keep putting one foot in front of the other. And keep walking on this journey ahead of me. I've got a lot to do, but I'm going to get it done. So I hope you hang in with me. I'm glad you're here. And most everybody is new to my channel. I do have a few subscribers. So hi, guys. I'm glad you're back. And I hope this helps anybody else who kind of struggles. I just keep it as real as possible. I'm not going to blow blam you and fill you with a whole bunch of fluff. So... You get what you get. I hope you enjoyed it. Have a great day. And until next week, let's hope the scale keeps going.